Alright guys, back again. So, today we need to start testing this tank because we've just started the cycles, so we've got everything going on, we've got bacteria, we've got things feeding the bacteria, so we want to make sure that we can get this tank um, ready for its inhabitants ASAP. So the only way you're going to know what's going on inside your tank is if you start testing your water. So what I've done is I've gone with the Tropic Marin uh, compact lab and so this is a great little test kit because it actually includes your pH, your KH, um, your phosphate, your uh, nitrate, your nitrite and your ammonia test and you get all of these tests in this one little pack so it's a great little beginners um, sort of like a little beginner starter kit and as it is today I'm only testing pH, KH and ammonia so what I'm looking for is I want to make sure that there's actually some ammonia in this tank from the prawn so I want to make sure that there's something in here to kickstart that bacteria bloom to get this tank cycled so um, I'm going to run through these tests I've actually run a couple of comparison tests alongside these and I'm really impressed. They're really, it's a really accurate test. They're really simple to perform as well. So, um, let's have a look. Okay, so here's the ammonia test kit. And it comes with some simple instructions, uh, parameters to aim for, and it even has some good diagrams just to make it all a little bit easier to understand. Your first step is just to make sure that each bottle is really good and shook up. It then says to rinse uh, your vial out with fresh tap water and then do the same with your tank water and then with the included syringe draw up 5 mils of tank water and then deposit that into your uh, testing vial. And now it's time to start testing. So you take your reagents and you drop in 10 drops of reagent A and then you pop your lid on and give it a little swirl followed by five drops of reagent B every reagent has the amount of drops written on the bottle so you can't get confused which is really handy and then you just pop your lid back on give it another little swirl and then finally reagent C and that's just a final five drops of reagent C and then you pop your lid back on give it another little swirl and you put your timer for six minutes and once your timer's up you can take it to the color chart take the lid off and then put it into the center white ring and then you can just look down and match the color as you can see here we've got ammonia so we know that those prawns are doing what they should be and now the pH test prepare the vial in the same way and you just add one drop to five mil of tank water give it a little swish around and in exactly the same way just match up to the corresponding color by looking down and I really found this really easy to read like sometimes color charts are really difficult but actually you can see this just matches up really well so you can see I've got a pH of 8 and the final test today is going to be KH so you're looking for somewhere between 6 to 9 dKH and what I'm going to do is double the amount of water that I use from 5 mil to 10 mil and for every drop of KH titration liquid that you use, that counts as 1 dKH. So if you double the solution, you're going to be doing it in increments of half dKH. You're going to get a more accurate reading. So you add each drop at a time, slowly mixing the water until it becomes a pink solid colour. So I did this. Um, I think I ended up putting, it was exactly 14 drops I ended up using to get a solid pink colour. So I've just sped this up and it was exactly 14 drops to get one solid pink colour. So that means that my DKH, according to this test kit, was 7 DKH. So 
So that got me thinking, I wonder how accurate this test kit is. So I decided to just double check with my HANA checker just to see what the accuracy was on this test kit. So I thought I'd run a quick test with my HANA checker and just see what I actually got. I was pretty chuffed to get 7.1 considering the uh, Tropic Marine test kit came up at 7, so I think that's pretty damn good. And another neat feature is that if you hover your phone's camera over the QR code, you're going to be able to get some downloadable instructions just in case you get these ones wet or um, if you just need some new instructions and you've got them downloaded on your phone, so that's really cool. And remember to log all of your results. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. So that's starting to test this tank. It's really good to keep a really close eye, uh, really good to get into the habit of testing your tank, just sticking with it. Um, and as we progress in this, uh, we're going to be going into other tests and what have you that we need to keep on top of when we're going to be keeping coral and more sensitive inverts and what have you. Um, yeah, so join me next time and I'm going to be talking all about skimmers and what they do and what they what they bring to the party.